Okay, well this is the Nostalgia Beijing Hotel, Confucius Temple Hotel. As we're packing up to leave, Beijing, my beautiful wife and bride and best friend, mm -hmm. and this is her carry-on, and this is my carry-on. Now don't ask us how we got all our crap and souvenirs in the carry-on, but we did. We got all of it into carry on only we did it I'm gonna give a little walk through our room again was 8110 and here's the hallway 8110 as we come around we we're on the first floor it's a little stairwell we never went up there or down there so we have no idea what's there and then as you come around there's a little Water fountain here, that's what we use to make our coffee out of. It's instant coffee here, if you prefer something different you better bring it. And then here is the, and the entrance. And here is the parking lot. Now, I would definitely recommend mapping through Google Maps how to get here. It is a very difficult hotel to find. Here is our security guard. Beijing nostalgia, oh. and this is the parking lot, and then here is where you go to get the breakfast. They do have a little parking lot here. I think the locals eat here also. It's 20 yuan, which is about three U.S. dollars per person, uh, and it actually is a really good breakfast. The American pilot can handle it. Uh, the lady in here that does it every morning is really nice. We brought her some apples. Uh, it's really clean. I give kind of a, a walk around, and then as we're walking out, now I said in the past, this hotel is extremely difficult to find. Definitely Google Maps Street View the hotel, so you'll get your bearings on where it's at. Because the local taxi cab drivers have no idea. These hutongs are very difficult. They're all named different. And depending on which one you're in, you might get lucky and find a taxi cab driver that knows which one it is, but don't count on it. So, this is a good street view. It is behind Beijing number six hospital, which is a good reference point. It's right in the middle of this hutong. Okay, like I said, do a street view Google Street Views is the only reason we found this thing our taxi dropped us off on the main street and pointed down the Sally way and said it's down there well yeah it was down here several turns and it was raining and, it was raining. and Google Maps is the only Google Street is the only reason we found it yeah, and the locals don't particularly care for you too much around here. Uh, I think they, about like a lot of tourist towns, they just tolerate you. Be as nice as you can. Represent your country, state, or city to the best of your ability. Be as polite as possible, as humble, and meek as humanly possible. It'll get you a lot further. Getting pissed off and mad isn't going to get you nowhere is if you smile at them they're a whole lot more friendlier you're not used to getting smiled at so baby what you think about the people here they've been decent i mean not too bad pushy as hell what do you think about beijing so far baby beijing is nice i mean it's a little bit different they smack when they eat which is not a big cultural thing for americans and they don't um, respect your space. <laughs> personal space. Personal space, yes. We have a lot more personal space in America than they do. They have a lot of PSIs. Personal PSI. space and invaders. Personal space invaders. <laughs> yes. Well, again, here we are. We're walking to the main drag, the closest one to our hotel, which is, like I said, deep in the middle of this hutong. Oops, here we go. See, electric, can't hear them come up. They'll beep right when they get on your ass. Then you get run over. 
because you don't care what they think. And good reference point is the Lama Temple. That's where we're headed to. This is the main drag. And it is Feng Jai Hutong West. Now we're in the Dang Ching Hutong, which are neighbors, and they're just streets apart. So the Lama Temple is a great reference point for your hotel if you stay in the, the Beijing nostalgia Confucius. Even though it's closer to the Lama Temple, it is a great reference point. The subway is down this way. The subway is back that way. We found either one to be about the same distance. So depending on which side of the city you're going to, depending on which one you want to walk to. It's about a 12 minute walk to either one. We heard seven minutes. 